Good evening, everyone. Happy new release day. Joe for jazbeescasebreak.com coming at you with 2019 Top Stadium Club Baseball 8-box half-case random team number one. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Sean Mandel has last bought Mojo. And then everyone with these little rooftops next to your name, that means you won that spot in, uh, in that gold rush break that we did a little bit earlier. All teams are in except for the Diamondbacks. Sorry, Diamondbacks. So we only sold 29 spots. We'll pop them into this list right here. Good luck, everybody. Let's randomize each list nine times. Three and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time. After nine times, John Post down to George. And then nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Nine. There it is. Uh, twins down to the White Sox. And I'll also drop the group break checklist checklist into the chat. So you can see what your teams have and maybe assist you in a possible trade. Trade at your own risk. Traders beware. All right, so John, you have the Twins. Mark Matheson with the Rockies. David Hewton with the Astros. TJ with the Yankees. Joe Carmona, you got the Padres. Mark Irons with the Angels. Mark with the A's. Paul with the Royals. George with the Rays. Darji, you got the Braves. Daniel Sloan with the Cardinals. Mark, Rangers and Mariners. George with the Mets. Mark with the Indians. Derek with the Giants. Laurel with the uh, Orioles. Andrew, got my Dodgers. Mark, Blue Jays, Reds, Tigers. Daniel Sloan with the Nats. Tim, you have the Brew Crew. Mike Dillon with the Phillies, Sean with the Marlins, Lucas with the Pirates, Red Sox for Colton, Cubs for Mark, and George with the White Sox. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Scott, the Diamondbacks did take care. Dodgers always have a weird time with the Diamondbacks. Especially especially in Arizona. It's always it's always a weird it's always a tough battle in there. Padres should be good. They should have they should have uh, uh, Tatis Jr. in there. Twins are available, by the way. Oh, while you guys are thinking about trades, let's pop this baby open. And we'll see which eight boxes, which half we're going to do. So this break should take us a little bit past the top of the hour, wherever you are in the world. Or well, most places in the world. And so after that, we'll figure out what else we're going to do. Maybe some more immaculate soccer. All right, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right. Oh, I don't need that Nick Cam anymore. There we go. And we'll slide this guy down. We all lined up? Oh, it is lined up. I was dragging the logo down. All right, so one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's going to be one. So we're going to do the left side. This right side we will save for random team two.
All right, so there's all of these marked RT2. So we know they're all from the same case. Get away with doing this with one shoe box. All right, so people are getting trades in there, trade offers, no, yes, no, no, no. Okay. Looks like some trade chatter, some negotiations being made, but nothing happened. It's all good. TWC, trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. So again, this break should take us to, if you're watching live, this break should take us to just a little bit past the top of the hour, wherever you are in the world. Unless you're in one of those places that have the 30-minute time zone thing, it's... Newfoundland, maybe. Um, so unless you're there, this will pretty much bring us to the last hour of the broadcast, a little under an hour of the broadcast. So we should start thinking about what we can possibly knock out before. I think we might be a little too late for uh, for to squeeze in another elite football, I'm afraid. I think we're only, yeah, we're only down to 20 anyway. But we can squeeze in... Upper Deck Supreme Hard Court, Cup Hockey, Immaculate Soccer. Immaculate Soccer is a brand new release. So we can kind of think about uh, we can kind of think about that. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head, but I'll, here's the checklist right there, Laurel, in the chat. Okay. So there it is. Random team one, eight box, half case break. Good luck, everybody. The final printout. So here's what, always great photography here. We're looking for two on-card autographs uh, in every box. Oh, and there's an oversized box loader. And we'll pop open too. All right, Eric Bailey says yes as a variation auto in here. Excellent. So like I said uh, before, unless it's just in the interest of time, unless the variation is really obvious, like the black foil or orange foil or whatever they have this year, um, we're going to be breezing through these as quickly as we can, just in the interest of time once again. Um, but our shipping team will definitely make sure we double check the codes on the back and all that stuff to grab the variations and get those sent out to you. David Aguilar saying, got in a break earlier, pulled a trout rainbow foil auto to 10 in stadium club. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Well, nine more left in the world that we can find. All right, one of the uh, one of the hallmarks of Stadium Club is definitely the excellent photography there. So I know Vet Base doesn't ship, but everything else does. Be sure to admire the uh, the pictures. It's like this red foil will definitely ship. What's going on with uh, what's going on with Carlos Carrasco? I feel kind of I'm nervous for this guy because um, he's got like some sort of blood issue. Any any Cleveland fans here that can illuminate some more about that? It's Carlos Rodon. That's I think one out of eight packs. And there's our first autograph, Miles Mikolas. For the Cardinals, that goes to Daniel Sloan.
<laughs> nice, Eric Bailey. I just saw your comment. Yeah, so you pulled a rainbow trout. Mm, rainbow trout. New inserts are cool looking. I guess there are diamondbacks. Um, you know what? That's a vet base, veteran common, but if in case there's anything else, we'll be sure to uh, randomize the diamondbacks to one person in the break. Nice Ryan O'Hearn. That's pretty awesome. Look at that Chris, old Chrissy Matthewson. I think these black and whites are a little more short printed. One out of every 48 packs, I think. Members only cards look like. Is is it gonna be obvious? I don't know, or we'll have to just, just dig through it, I guess. Is it stamped that way? Oh, okay, so there is a foil stamp on there, I see it. So I think that's one per case. Yeah, it's a little silver logo. Thanks, guys. Um, so, yeah, we'll try to keep an eye out for that, too. Oh. And Scooter Jeanette. Uh, for the Reds, Mark Matheson. With the red legs. Yeah, I, w I, wish, I wish it was just a player wearing a members-only jacket. Isn't members-only back in, like, the, like 80s nostalgia? Members only jackets are back in. I think at some of the some of the clothing resale, the hip clothing resale stores around here are selling members only jackets for a lot. Now I'm all nervous about missing that members only stamp. I don't know if I happen to miss it, our shipping team will, will, will find it and send it to the right place. All right, let's see what's in this oversized box loader. It's gonna be Nationals edition of Bryce Harper. Home Run Derby, that's pretty sick. Home Run Derby, right, I think? Nice. We'll set that aside back there. All right, next box. So Ray was saying earlier, Carrasco would have been great if he stayed healthy. I feel like there's always something going on with him. I know. I, I got him on my fantasy team, and... It seems like he started off the season a little slug. He was kind of up and down. He wasn't starting off the season sharp. And then it's kind of scary because he has, like, this, like, I don't know what this blood issue is. I don't know how long it's going to keep him out, but it's kind of scary. Yeah, Dwill for one, Eric Bailey. Yeah, the, the photography in this is pretty, pretty exceptional. Um, I think a two or three years ago, I forget when, maybe two, three years ago, we sat down with, um, with a woman who picks the pictures for Stadium Club. I think some of you may know her if you're on top social media. She runs a social media, and um, Suze is her name. So some of you may know her already. But as of, a, I don't know if she did this year's, but. 
whatever stadium club it was that we did a couple years ago, she was the one sourcing all of the photos and getting the licensing and stuff for all the photos and whatnot. And she said it was a great, it's a, it's a, it's a great project because you're looking for, um, oh yeah, Eric Bailey, you know, yeah, she's great. Um, and we were do we were at the National in Chicago, I think it was a couple years ago, and we were actually breaking open a case of this. In fact, Rory was there, uh, Rory Wagner, everyone knows Rory in the chat, right? And and he was doing, and we did a 16 box break on stage, not realizing how long it was going to take. We were so, we were so busy, we we're kind of like, yeah, 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 we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do a whole case on stage, and we'll do Q and A's and blah 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 with her. And Rory was helping like sort and pack all of those and everything, and it was a whole thing. But but we were on stage for a little while, and uh, we were talking about that, and she was just like, "It's awesome. You're just going through old archives." Right, and you're and you're trying to find specifically unique photos, and you know it's a cool project. Sean Reed Foley is your autograph rookie auto for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Mark. So yeah, so it, it, it's it's a really cool project. So they definitely spend um, a lot of resources, a lot of time, just really making sure they get some cool photography in your, or something that you generally haven't seen before or something unique. So I'll report tonight that Bellinger has, Daniel Sloan saying, Bellinger has 10 to nice since May. He would be a sell now to me if he was on my fantasy team. Really? It's still raking. Maybe sell if you're in a, if you're in a dynasty or a keeper league, maybe you want to. I don't know. He's still, still hitting 333. Three home runs, five RBIs, five walks in the last seven games. Unless you're like out of a out of a playoff spot, and you can move Bellinger for a huge haul. Knee tendonized for a month. Then I would imagine they'd shut him down if it was a serious issue, though, I would think. Jalen Beeks is your rookie autograph for George and the Rays. I wouldn't, from a fantasy perspective, I wouldn't be too concerned. I feel like they would shut him down if it was a serious issue or if, like, it could get worse by him playing. I feel like everyone's, like, carrying something, right? If you checked, like, if you checked every pitcher's elbow, I'll bet they all have some sort of tear in their elbow that could result in Tommy John. Like everyone has like a grade one tear, which is, which is pretty in, like relatively insignificant. I mean, Tanaka has been pitching with a, with a tear in his elbow for years. Otani. Well, he got Tommy John, but. Oh, you think, you think the Dodgers are going to DL him? Oh, okay. Okay. If that's your speculation, then. Yeah, you can do a, a, a sell now. Bellinger's on the DL for for a little bit. Nice Nolan Ryan for the Astros. I could see the Dodgers doing that around, if they are, if it's a serious issue, I can see them doing that around like All-Star break. You know, you can wrap like an IL stint 10 days before like the All-Star break. Right, then you get the all-star break. And then, you know, then you get a little extra time there without missing games. Unless it's like you miss the all-star game, I guess, but you miss that and then boom. Uh yes, box hoppers absolutely should. 
So that would be considered like an insert, I guess. You know, it's a special card. It's not like a veteran common. So all of those will shit. I'm assuming some of those box toppers could be autographed, you guys. I don't know. Maybe. Or numbered even. Yes, David Aguilar. Um, I will have plenty of time to do personal boxes after this break. So I only see one order coming in. So I think that's going to be, uh, unless unless Chris Rossetti bought like an entire breakout. So, uh, Wolf, I think you are, is that, that sounds like an eBay break, which is in the studio behind me, but on a different channel. If you uh, go to your eBay description, you should be able to scroll down and see the time of the break and the link to the channel. Gotcha. So Tim says those could be autographed, but uh, but no, no word on if there's parallels or not. I don't think there would be. Yeah, so David, I should be able to do that another 20 minutes or so. 20, 25 minutes. Kel Marte's been raking. And the autograph is Daniel Ponce de Leon. On card autograph going to Daniel Sloan and the Cardinals. Ah, gotcha. Box hopper autos apparently are 10 or less. There we go. But maybe no non non autoed parallels. All right, that makes sense. Stansby Swanson. Every time I flip around, flip these around, they're sorry, folks. I'm trying to keep it consistent, but Stadium Club's not helping me out there. What's, who's this guy? Oh, that's that's a tiger. I, I get it. And there's Dennis Santana, rookie auto for the Dodgers. That goes to Andrew. There you go, Andrew. Andrew R with that. I feel like he's sort of a a Toussaint sort of pitcher, except with maybe not as many walks. He just needs to try to crack that Dodgers bullpen, maybe rotation, perhaps. All right, next box topper. Is, is that the Man of Steel? It is, Ricky Henderson. Nice. Is that Eddie Murray? All right, next box. Nice and that flat was a short print. That will that uh, it's, it's rookie card too, so that will certainly ship. All right, yeah. Stadium Club is pretty nice. David Aguilar said he saw. Oh, he saw a uh, Carlton Fisk autograph box topper. That's pretty cool. Wait, Tim, are you in this one? I thought you were in this one. Or maybe you bought the break too. Yeah. 
losing my mind. Uh, Carmona, short prints are um, short prints are uh, like what it sounds like. It's it's a shorter printed card, except it's not serial. It's not stamped with a serial number. So um, they could be called variations too. Technically, but so with the red foil, I guess that's considered a variation. But there could be a non-red foil one with a different picture of Miguel Andujar, right? And that would be the short print, where they've just literally printed less of it. And there is Dean Dietz for the Strohs. That's going to be for David Hewton. Oh, well, short print would be good to pull. That means a shorter printed, rare supply demand. That means it has, you know, inherently greater value because it's, it's a little more a uh, little less common. Now there may not be, did, I mean, and it, vary, it will vary from set to set whether a short print will be significantly more than the common or not. You know, so. There's also that, and that'll require just a little extra research. A lot of times there won't be a huge difference between the Chipper Jones and the Chipper Jones short print if you're just selling that card. Maybe an auto on a short print might be different. Oh, there you go. The, well, the Cunha variation, top space, 40 bucks. See? So there you go. So, yeah, it'll usually apply to, like, the bigger name rookies or young up-and-coming stars. Jeffrey Springs. Rookie auto for the Rangers. That goes to Mark Matheson and Tejas. Oversized box loader, I guess is what they're going to call it. It's all rise. Aaron Judge, Yankees. And that'll be for TJ and the Yanks. estimated the time of this break. It's going to be a little bit longer than I thought. Sorry, guys. Um, but we should be done fairly quickly. We just have four more boxes to go. Try to speed up just a little bit. And then after this, we're going to do a personal box for David Aguilar. So stay tuned for that. And then after that, I'm not sure what we can do after that. We should have time to squeeze in some one-box breaks. We've got Game of Thrones personal boxes. We've got 1718, the Cup Hockey, which is pretty great. 
And we've got brand new 2018-19 Immaculate Soccer. Soccer fans. A lot of soccer on the brain for a lot of people, so... Check that out. Excellent value on the secondary market, too. Nice Babe Ruth. I don't know if that's actually black and white or if that's just how the photo is, but we'll set that aside. Those are a little more shorter printed than the others. So like the vet, this is a veteran common, but it's black foil. So that will still ship out. And that'll ship out because it's an auto. Adalas Garcia, rookie auto for Daniel Sloan and the St. Louis Cardinals. Rex is saying short print kind of sounds like the card should be smaller or like not everything's printed on the card. Yeah, like they missed something on the card. We just felt short of completing that card. Dang it. How much you think the, your Ronaldo's worth on second? Like two, three thousand million dollars? I have no idea, but um, I'll bet it'll do well. I re really wish it was a, we were one off that freaking jersey number. That would have been cool. Getting the jersey number for CR7. And we've got Kevin Kramer. Pirates. Rookie auto for the Buccos. I feel like he's having a decent season, right, Kevin Kramer? Lucas Snow with the Pirates. I wonder if I wonder if there is any that, that have hit eBay already. Carmona, that R Cristiano Ronaldo. You might be able to find something from an older Immaculate set. You know, and see if uh, it's kind of a comparable relic. But I want to say... I want to say uh, I want to say seventy-five dollars. Bo Jackson, look at that swag. It's like no big deal. I know I'm good. Someone's gonna blow up that hip though, and then change his career forever. Royals. That goes to Paul Hutchins. To 10, I think, Eric Bailey. It was, uh, it was to 10, eight out of 10, Cristiano Ronaldo relic, Portugal gear, um, or I think it was Portugal. Maybe it was Real Madrid, I forget. But it had, uh, it ha no, I think it was Real Madrid. I think it has a, it had like the league, La Liga logo on the side, it was like a ring. That says La Liga in the middle. I think it was part of that. It was a nice looking one. It was in the first number block break. That looks nice. Yeah, the the Bo Jacks. I wonder if 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 Bo Jacks and Tim never got his just hip destroyed in that one football game or something like that. Like, I wonder could he have been a Hall of Famer in both leagues? Maybe not, but. I don't know. I, I, I feel like both leagues would just, I mean, if he was just halfway decent, you know, if he carved out like a 10 year football career, right? You know, a couple MVPs, maybe a couple rushing records or something like that, you know, then maybe 
carved out a solid 15-year career in baseball at the same time. I feel like the people, voters would make an exception and just be like, that's just cool. <laughs> and put him into the Hall of Fame in like both leagues. But dude is dynamic. I think um, that might have been the first. I think that might have been the first uh, autobiography I ever read as a kid was the Bo Jackson. There's Miles Straw, rookie auto. Bo Jackson biography, autobiography. As told to. Miles Straw for the Strohs. David Hewton, Hewdy. Hasta luego. I'm trying to, like, looking intently at these cards. I don't want to miss the uh, members only seal on one of these cards. Cedric Mullins. Rookie auto for Laurel and the O's. All right, of course. How could you forget Bo Jackson running up the wall like Spider Man? Oh, nice. There's some orange foil right there. Power Zone, Shoei Otani. That looks like there should be an autograph right here. Come on. Mark Irons with the Angels. Come on, Tops. Pop an auto on that. Still nice. Yes, his auto autobiography. That's the one. Bo knows Bo, with the with the football pads and the bat. That was the photo. There's Bob Gibson. Nice. That's for the Cardinals, of course. This is probably the year after the year afterwards. They're like, we got to lower that mound. We got to lower that mound. All right. Next one. I think we have all finals. All final scores. There's no baseball happening right now as we speak. Usually there's like a Seattle game happening right now, no? Well, they're all finals. White Sox beat the Red Sox 8 to 7. I was on the Red Sox plus or on the White Sox plus 305. I had financial injury. I was just like I don't know, plus 305, why not? Crazy things can happen. Chris Sale can melt down. Who knows? So, uh, put, a, put, a, put the minimum on the White Sox, and they, they came back and won it 8-7. Yankees beat the Blue Jays 8-7. Indians beat the Royals 5-3. Padres doubled up the Orioles 10-5. Diamondbacks beat my Dodgers 8-2. Rockies beat the uh, beat the Giants six to three, two field goals to one. Phillies walked it off against the Mets. They won five four and ten. Rangers beat the Tigers four to one. Was on the I was on the Rangers earlier today. On the Mar uh, Marlins too, and they looked like they were starting to come back against that that god awful Nationals bullpen, but they only got to five. 
National scored seven. Oakland, I was on the A's. A's shut out the Cardinals, who seem to have lost offensive output in the last week or so, but A shut them out 2 0. In, in St. Louis, too, so they didn't have the DH. Uh, Braves beat the Cubbies 5 to 3. Angels beat the Reds 5 to 1. Pittsburgh, I was on Houston, too. They were plus 212. And I was like, eh, I'll put the minimum on it. Turns out they're going to beat the Astros 14 to 2. I'm okay with that. Uh, Twins beat the Rays 6 to 4. And the Mariners, I think I was on the Mariners, too. Mariners beat the Brewers 4 to 2. That's your Wednesday, the 26th, folks. Wow, David Dahl had seven RBIs? Dust off your David Dahl autographs. Man, Rockies do have a lot of great prospects just right in that pipeline. There's Chance Adams. Give peace a Chance Adams. TJ with the Yankees. Look at that rookie auto. David Dahl, Brendan Rodgers, Rymel Tapia. I know I'm missing a couple other guys that we've seen in like old Bowman products and stuff. And they're like, ah, oh, you wait and see. I was like, that's there. There's your Trevor story replacement. If he leaves, there's your Arenado replacement. If he leaves. That's why, that's, that's why Ryan McMahon, right, is another one, Greg. Um, that's why, as a Dodger fan, I am very nervous. I, like, the Dodgers have to win. You know, this is this year might be the last year where they're going to cruise to another NL West title. You know what I mean? And get into the – because future years, from here on out, the Padres are getting better. You know, the Rockies are always – if the Rockies figure out some, some starting pitching, if they figure out some pitching, man – If they can find someone who can pitch at home and just be locked down at home, that's scary. That is scary. So if they can draft and develop pitching like they develop hitting, there's Adam, I never know how to say his name, Simmer, Kimber. That is for Mark Matson and the Indians. Same with the Padres, too. If they figure out their pitching with that offense, that's going to be a scary team, too. And so then the Dodgers won't be assured of any uh, NL West titles, and it won't be a given anymore. And then it gets even harder to get back and win a World Series, and then tears from this guy. Sad times, long, frustrating summers. We got a Yankee. It's Lou Gehrig. Nice box topper for TJ who got randomized the Yankees. It's pretty sweet. All right, last box coming up. Sorry, this took a little bit longer than I originally expected it to be, but appreciate you sticking with me. Talking a little, uh, talking a little diamond. You think Tatis Jr. card is going to blow up, EJC? You know what? If he didn't land on the IL for a bit of time, I feel like he would have – I feel like it would have been like a runaway train. But that kind of stunted his momentum hobby-wise, I feel, just a little bit. But it stunted those momentum, the momentum, and then he has to regain that momentum again. But I think he's been hitting well since he come off the IL, but – Yeah, those toppers, Grego, are definitely good enough to frame. I would. That'd be pretty cool. Tatis's numbers projected over 162 games would have been 36 home runs and 44 stolen bases. 
Tatis Jr., a future... Uh... Is he a future 40-40 guy? Yeah, and I think they took... I think the Padres took their time with him too. Tim's like they, he's been on fire since he's been since he's come back from the IL, and I think that was intentional. I think the Padres may have kept him on a little bit longer just to make sure he's one hundred percent. Wait, has there there hasn't been a fifty fifty guy, right? I think I ask this every time we talk, have a forty forty conversation. Um, didn't Alfonso Soriano do 50-50? No, maybe no one's done 50-50. No one's done 50-50. Sorry. Someone got close, though. Soriano. Got, Alfonso Soriano with the Nationals got close in 2006. 46 home runs, 41 stolen bases. So still still short on the stolen. I mean, short either way, but I mean, that's it's pretty incredible. The other guys, not to, there are only three other guys in the 40-40 club. The other guy, before Soriano, 1998 A-Rod for the Mariners, 42 home runs and 46 stolen bases. Bonds and Giants Bonds in 96, 42, 40. And then Jose Canseco, 42 and 40. Matt Kemp missed, missed it by one home run, I think. I think it was one. And I think that cost him the MVP that year to, to roid it up. Uh, to roid it up, Ryan Braun. Woo, look at this. Vlad Guerrero Jr., rookie autograph. That is for Mark Matheson and the Bluebirds. That is strong. Nice. Beam team autograph. Lasers. Beam team. That is strong. I don't think we've seen the members only card, right? And if I missed it, well, our shipping team will send that off to the proper team. Oh, I totally missed that, Greg. Yeah, there's the number right there. Seven out of 15. There's Dad, and there's Brad Keller, Royals rookie auto for Paul Hutchins. There it is, Junior. Junior's just a little, a little stockier. I feel like Vlad Guerrero must have gotten close to 40 40. I'm looking at the Wikipedia. Yes. In 2002, both Vlad Guerrero of the Montreal Expos and Alfonso Soriano for the Yankees were only one home run short oh, of each reaching 40 40 after both getting 39 and 40 stolen bases. Gotcha. These are the guys that fell short. Beltran, Carlos Beltran in 04 fell short 38 and 40, 38 home runs in 43. Splitting the seasons between the Royals and the Astros, and in 2011, of course, was Matt Kemp, who just missed it. 39 home runs, 40 stolen bases. I mean, if uh, if Tatis Jr. can become a 40-40 guy, dust off those Tatis Jr. autographs. Vlad Jr. might be able to hit 50 home runs, but I don't know if that's going to... I don't know if the steals are going to be there for Vlad Jr. All right, last box topper. Thanks very much, everyone, for watching, for breaking with us.
It's going to be a Brave, and it is Ozzy Albius sliding into second. There it is. Oh, yeah, it's a center from center field. There's the mound right there. And there you go. Let's. Uh, I don't know if there's any inserts that we would ship for the Diamondbacks, but since they do exist, let me fire up the random.org and just kind of do that housekeeping there. Darji down to Sloan. And the name on top will get any Diamondbacks cards, if any. Four and a two, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. So Daniel Sloan. If there's any, uh, I guess, variations or anything, anything of that sort, uh, Diamondbacks wise, then we'll it'll go to you. That won't go, but you know what I mean. There you go, folks. Random Team One in the books. 2019 Top Stadium Club Baseball. Uh, we'll see you next time for the next break. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.